Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and in this very cold day, overcast, no sunny unfortunately I'm reviewing another electric bike by the Focus Adventure 2 6.7 so um, yeah, the idea as I said on all my reviews is about testing out and giving my subjective opinion of what my experience is to ride this electric bike and also to you know test motor performance front suspension capability and maneuverability and safety and comfort and also what the um, controller system can provide to my riding experience so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to this review and uh, I want to give my thanks to Spokes in Abbotsford that allowed me to use this bike for review today. I want to quickly explain something about the Focus Adventure 2 and uh, it'll be pretty much in all other bags as well using Bosch systems and currently <clears throat> using one of the smart systems from Bosch um, and as you can see there is no displays in this one uh, purposely that was the idea but this one comes fitted with a uh, with the uh, Intivia 100 which is a great controller offers a bunch of readouts and capabilities for the rider to be able to take control of the riding style and things like that but really what makes it powerful is the smart system that Bosch is offering now and why this one doesn't have it because yeah something that is happening lately is a, a lot of riders are, deci are deciding not to have the actual display in there spending four hundred dollars or so and instead they are spending a little bit less by having the phone attacher and as i have explained in my uh, review of the smart system Bosch uh, you can use the phone to be your display and basically works perfectly however if you are using the kiosk 300 which offers colors and offers more user friendly interface well maybe I would stick to that one okay so I'm gonna test out the off-road conditions of this Focus Adventure at 2 6.7 and also test the capabilities of the front suspension as a Sundhor 110 millimeters 
which I think is quite generous for a touring bike, um, air suspension, high quality actually. Let's see how it feels. Wow, I can barely feel the bumping suspension doing most of the work. The controlling wise is so nice actually, it feels really solid. okay yeah i love it super simple really like i don't feel much pressure on my uh, wrists and hands i feel like i'm in total control of the bike braking system responding super nicely now having all the power going uphill off-road Let's see how maneuverability and responsiveness is. <laughs> There's a lot of power of the motor already. It is sensing that I'm going up here and wanting to give as much power as possible. Wow, excellent maneuverability. I'm just barely pedaling and having a lot of motor responsiveness little vibration coming my way wow okay so some of my impressions of the focus adventurer 2 6.7 um, actually i love that the brand has decided to come with you know to partner with big brands as well in terms of quality and uh, offering the best to riders so for instance having that front suspension and then 10 millimeters wow seriously it makes a massive difference for a bike or an e-bike that I'm wanting to use for a road adventures touring you know offering me all the possibilities to enhance my experience when riding also having these smart system by Botch that provides a lot of capabilities for my riding experience this one doesn't have the display because as I said I uh, wanted to show that my phone can be used as it is but I didn't get the attachment unfortunately but anyway color coding no assistance and all the way up to the boost one which is powerful Jesus he was so keen to give me that power, you know, to go uphill without having to pedal too hard. So that was amazing. The other part that I was so content was the suspension, again talking about it, the suspension capability uh, when taking that off road downhill and not having any worries about losing control whatsoever. Uh, super comfortable and maneuverability also mixed with the 29.25 inches tires makes a massive difference so I felt really contained having a lot of fun which is what we want right um, in terms of comfort this is a mainly ladies bike and uh, yeah the step through system which also provides easiness to jump in and out of the bike and uh, the last thing is about all the components attached having a 25 kilogram um, carry weight capacity rear rack front and rear light as well which is activated by using the controller value for money based on the quality and the uh, elements used for this bike i think it is well rated um, I really don't have any type of complaint aside from you know experiencing a little bit of noise from the motor which is very common in electric motors electric bike motors uh, but actually Bosch is one of the quietest I've experienced by far yeah if you feel like you want to test out this electric bike the Focus again Adventure 2 you will have 6.6 6.7 and 6.8 different um, options in there is, I think I believe it's about the battery capacity 
uh, yeah anyway I would suggest going to the bike shop where I source this bike or maybe finding the nearest to your area thanks for watching this review